Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us today for this important announcement regarding the future of the Laredo International Airport. We're excited to share that our airport has been awarded $1.9 million in federal funding through this year's bipartisan infrastructure loss airport infrastructure grant program. Now, this funding will be instrumental in the rehabilitation of taxiways and in the completion of two new connectors, ensuring that our airport continues to meet the highest FAA standards. Before I continue with the program, I would like to acknowledge some of the important guests that we have with us this morning. First and foremost, our mayor of the city of Laredo, the Honorable Dr. Victor Di Trevino and his wife, Ms. Rosa Marquez de Trevino. Our Mayor Pro Temp and Council Member for this district, District 5, the Honorable Ruben Gutierrez, Jr. <laughs> U.S. Representative from Texas, District 28, the Honorable Congressman Henry Cuellar. <laughs> Representing Texas State Representative for District 42, the Honorable Richard Peña Raymond is Hector Lee Patino. Representing Texas State Representative House District 80, the Honorable Tracy King is Ms. Lupita Cepeda. <laughs> Representing the Webb County Sheriff, the Honorable Martin Cuellar is Commander Dennis Garcia. <laughs> also with us is the Laredo International Airport Director, Mr. Gilberto Sanchez. And representing the Police Department, Chief Miguel Rodriguez is their PIO, Jose Espinosa. <laughs> to begin our announcement, I would like to introduce our mayor, Dr. Victor Trevino, who continues to advocate, uh, advocate to, for enhancing infrastructure in our community. Please join me in welcoming Mayor Dr. Victor D. Trevino. Good morning, Dr. Victor Trevino, Mayor for the City of Laredo, for this great city of Laredo, and also the number one port in the United States. It does give me great pleasure to be here today as we celebrate the receipt of federal funds for our Laredo Airport. I want to thank Congressman Cuellar, thank you very much, Congressman, for always work, working hard for Laredo and its needs as we also celebrate and proclaim National Aviation Week in Laredo, Texas, it is important that Laredo continues to grow as an airport and its services so that we can remain competitive and attract more investment from around the world. It is important that we, we provide customer service and the flights of quality facilities and to make sure that we attract more business here but it is also critically important that the funding is in place to make sure that these things happen. So Congressman, thank you once again for this much needed funding as Laredo continues to be competitive and to remain competitive in the world. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Now I would like, um, uh, well, we have the honor of introducing our Congressman Henry Cuellar, who has been a dedicated representative for our community, bringing federal resources to Laredo. His efforts have been crucial in securing this $1.9 million grant to the airport. So please help me welcome Congressman Henry Cuellar. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, well, I, uh, thank you so much uh, for the work that you do. And Mayor, it's, uh, we really appreciate the leadership that you uh, have provided for the city of Laredo. We've seen a historic amount of dollars. Uh, you going up there, Washington, along with the city council, uh, Ruben, again, uh, uh, Gutierrez, who's the councilman for this area. We want to thank you and the rest of the council because the money just doesn't fall from the skies. It takes a little bit of effort. Uh, so I want to thank the city for going up there uh, to fight for this dollars. Uh, I want to thank all the, the state reps that we have here, the representatives, uh, the city, the sheriff's office also, the uh, police also. Uh, I want to thank all of y'all. Uh, thank you. We'll talk about a couple things that we're working on uh, and uh, great work uh, here. And before I talk about the dollars here, uh, Mayor, if you would allow me to just mention a couple things. Uh, there's a couple things about this airport that's important to note. Uh, first of all, the runways here are longer than the runways that we have in San Antonio, number one. Uh, we also have, it was a few years ago, I think it's still the same, we have more runways than Mexico City has also. 
And that's why in the last uh, 19 years or so that I've been around working with the city and other administrations, over $229 million have been invested to the, to, the, uh, to the airport here. Now, a lot of it's underground, so people say, hey, where is the $229 million? But as you know, to have the runways, the aprons, the taxiways, uh, it takes a lot of uh, funding to do that. And over the years, uh, thousands of jobs have been created because of the work uh, Mayor that you and Ruben and Mr. Garo also and the City Council have been doing uh, that uh, have been keyed here. Number one, uh, the investments here at the airport. Number two, also, uh, I also want to thank uh, the men and women up here. Uh, we added a billion dollars to make sure that TSA, TSA, uh, to make sure that TSA uh, gets paid like other Homeland Security dollars. So that means as they get those pay increases, more dollars will be spent here and better for the local economy. So I want to thank the TSA because not only do they cover business, tourism, but as you know, this place is one where you have uh, migrants that are sent off to other parts of the area. So we want to thank uh, TSA for the work that you do and thank you so much uh, for the great work. Uh, TSA is under Homeland Security, one of my subcommittees, and really appreciate all the good work that they do. Uh, third thing that I want to mention also is the, uh, there's four things. The third thing uh, that I want to mention also, some years ago, working with the city of Laredo in D.C., we sat down uh, with a gentleman that used to run SAT, uh, Gutierrez Mina. And we were able to work out an agreement uh, where we would have the first, the first uh, joint uh, inspection center where the Mexican customs and the U.S. customs uh, can be uh, working together. Uh, the city put in the building over here. Uh, we were able to convince the Peña Neto uh, administration to do that, where they were going to do one in, in Mexico and then in Laredo the first joint inspection center in the U.S. was here in Laredo. So again, uh, Mayor, to you and the council, congratulations. And we know now it's uh, at the ports of entry, land ports, uh, rail ports, and all that. But I, I do want to emphasize, first one was here. Thank you, the city of Laredo. Uh, finally, the, the last thing I want to mention, number four, before we talk about the announcement, uh, is the Air Marine uh, base that will be built. As you know, they're going to build two hangars. They built one hangar There's on the second uh, hangar. Uh, they're going to put an office building, which I think they have already built. This new Air Marine hangar, uh, that, uh, or base, should I say, will bring more helicopters, more aircraft, and therefore more security, but Pilots will be needed, so therefore good paying jobs. And the aviation mechanics uh, that we want, uh, working with TSTC, TSTI, uh, will be here. Uh, and just talking to Mr. Sanchez, he just gave me some good ideas how we can eventually have the training of mechanics here in Laredo. Good paying jobs here, uh, and of course pilots and mechanics and Mayor, again, I want to thank you and the council uh, to make sure. So the 61 point, let's say $62 million uh, for the uh, base there uh, should be done in the next four, five, six months, depending uh, on weather. And I keep saying don't count rain as an excuse. Uh, and, uh, but that uh, air base will be created here. And again, new jobs uh, that will be done uh, here. So again, thank you so much uh, to the city of Laredo. Finally, uh, why are we here? We're here to announce almost $2 million uh, from the bipartisan infrastructure uh, bill. That bipartisan infrastructure, unfortunately, was very partisan. Republicans went one way, Democrats went the other way. We were able to pass the bipartisan infrastructure bill. It brought, even though some people didn't vote for it, but it brought in the state of Texas the largest infusion of dollars for transportation. Our state reps here know the largest amount of dollars uh, that have been brought here for highways, for bridges, for uh, 
uh, uh, internet, also broadband for water projects, largest amount of dollars. For the Laredo area, $1.9 billion for the next 10 years, 1.5 are federal dollars and the rest are the state dollars. Usually most projects are 80-20, 80-20. Uh, uh, that is 80% federal dollars, 20% uh, state dollars, but working together, we bring in the dollars. So those highway dollars, and, and all you have to do is just go down the loop and you can see the dollars here. We're up there at a <clears throat> 12 noon the other day at the Loop 20 uh, and I-35. We're still trying to figure out who set that up at 12. I have an idea who set it up. Uh, but we were able to announce this, uh, uh, millions of dollars. And I know uh, we were just talking about this uh, in a few minutes, but uh, a few minutes ago, I know it's a little inconvenience to the public, but once we get this done, uh, uh, it will change uh, Laredo. So as we get the World Trade Bridge expanded, as we get the Columbia Bridge expanded, uh, we will have the infrastructure. So whether it's the Achar Road, uh, whether it's a Viaseo uh, project also, provide some relief to Mines Road to make sure uh, that we have uh, this. So all of this is from the bipartisan infrastructure bill. And again, this almost uh, $2 million uh, will be used also to keep improving the airport. Uh, the first $1.1 million, and I believe uh, Mr. Sanchez will go in, I'll just mention it, uh, Taxi A, Taxiway A will be uh, worked on, and then some other uh, work, I'll, I'll let the, uh, Mr. Sanchez, uh, the airport director, go into that. Bottom line is we want to make sure that this uh, airport continues to uh, grow, and this is why it's so important. Uh, I know we're still working on the terminal, and I, I think uh, uh, I've been asked to find a little bit more dollars, but uh, we have brought in dollars, uh, uh, millions of dollars uh, for the apron, for the taxiway, but also for the, uh, for the terminal improvement. Uh, if I count this right, about $30 million have been allotted to the terminal uh, improvement. I understand because of inflation, we probably have to get a few extra dollars more, but we're hoping that we can get the money so we can finish the work here at the terminal. So, uh, Mayor, I just want to say this doesn't happen without the leadership, your leadership, Mayor, the leadership of Mr. Gutierrez, Ms. Cigarroa, and the other council all working together, city manager, making sure that we keep bringing the dollars uh, here. So to the uh, Airport Advisory uh, Board, thank you so much. Uh, I, Mr. Sanchez just gave us a good idea that we'll uh, uh, work with you, Mayor, and we'll get on the phone with Homeland uh, to see if we can move uh, some of that projects on the aviation mechanics uh, training a little faster. So with that, I just want to say thank you, and Mayor, congratulations, and Ruben, you need to wear tennis shoes like the mayor and I. Uh, next time you come up here, uh, you'll be a lot more comfortable. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Congressman. I would like to introduce our council member for uh, this district, District 5, and also Mayor Pro Tem, Ruben Gutierrez, Jr., um, who represents the Laredo International mm -hmm. Airport. Um, Councilmember Gutierrez has been a key supporter also of initiative about growth in our community and the improvement of this district. Please help me welcome Councilmember Ruben Gutierrez, Jr. Good morning, y'all. Thank you all for being here. Uh, first and foremost, Congressman Cuellar, thank you so much because you are an enormous advocate for Laredo. You always have been uh, over the course of the last 19 years. You have brought in millions and millions, hundreds of millions of dollars to the city of Laredo, and I thank you for everything, everything you do for us. This is so important because every single penny that we pour into this airport helps our community. You know, it helps the passengers, it helps people moving in and out of here, commerce. Uh, as you all have seen, the increase as far as commerce is concerned here, the goods moving in and out of the Laredo Airport have been, have been uh, increasing over and over again every single month, and it's, it's wonderful. Congressman Cuella sees that, knows that, and he, he's sure to tell Washington that we are a city that is hustling and bustling and growing every single day Therefore, you see those hundreds of millions of dollars rolling into Laredo. So Congressman Cuellar, thank you so, so much. Mayor, thank you for leading this. I, I thank you for always being at the forefront for the city. And I thank you all for being here again. Thank you all, have a great day. God bless you all. Thank you. 
Thank you, Council Member. Lastly, we're going to hear from the Laredo Airport Director, Mr. Gilberto Sanchez. Under his guidance, the Laredo International Airport has continued to expand, and we're modernizing this airport, ensuring that it remains a hub for our region. As we could hear, we, we are doing lots of work, especially to our roof as well. So, Mr. Gilberto Sanchez. Well, thank you, thank you all for being here. Thank you, Congressman, thank you, Mayor, thank you, uh, Council members, for your support. Without your support, this will not be possible. Uh, I know it sounds like uh, taxiways, connectors, sounds like boring things, and nobody cares about that, but trust me, that is very important for an airport. We start from there, and we go to the inside, which we're doing right now. If you see outside, there's a, there's a roof construction going on right now. We have a $17 million project going on on remod, uh, remodeling the terminal. So thank you all for that too, because that's, that couldn't happen without your support. Uh, so with that being said, uh, I mean, I'd just like to thank you all again. We will continue to be working and just, just to say, we have like three pending applications out there, Congressman, for passenger boarding bridges and some other things out there. I mean, just saying, I mean, not, not to put a spot on you, but I mean, there's like three, but we'll talk about it anyway. Uh, so I want to thank everyone for being here. Uh, it's uh, really very important, $1.9 million. It's, uh, it's honestly a drop in the bucket, but it's a step in the right di direction. Thank you all so much for being here. <laughs> thank you, Gilberto. If we can get um, our airport, uh, of course, director, our council members, mayor, um, congressman, and even airport staff to come up so we can do the check presentation uh, picture. Thank you.